I, uh, I work here. Um, I have been working with Duran, helping plant stuff and organize volunteers for about a little over a year and a half now. Um, a lot of community there and here I felt like there was just a different way that community was handled um, and I kind of wanted to when I met Duran I, I felt like this was a really good example of people coming together and growing food and, and circumnavigating kind of maybe some corruption and stuff mm. like that. I've learned how to kind of go with the flow and um, submit to the experience of life. Um, I've learned how to grow food and interact with others. I've learned how to kind of put my presence into the world in a way that I'm proud of. Grab these two buffers. I mean, four buffers. Okay, how many volunteers do you do you usually have? Uh, it varies. Uh, sometimes we get like four, five. Sometimes we get up to twelve. You know what I mean? Uh, it just depends. Uh, day like this is a little wet day, so we probably gonna have less people. On a sunny day, we mess around, have a dozen people out here, you know, helping out. Whatever. Uh, do kids uh, help out, or is it just adults? No, nah, we get the kitties. Sometimes the kitties come out um, when it's warmer, more than uh, like during the summertime. Folks bring their kids. I mean, but then to find kids, because sometimes I get like high school kids that come out. They got volunteer hours that they want to complete. And you know, like last week, I had like two kids from like I guess Richmond community. They came out. We uh, had them planting stuff in the greenhouse. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so what about? Community service for people who have, you know, maybe done a crime or anything. Is oh that... yeah, yeah, yeah. So we promote the volunteer work days on uh, Hands On Greater Richmond. Mm -hmm. So you know that's a, a site that folks that have to do community service for court, mm -hmm. they usually go to it and they find us. I've had people come out here, you know, that did shoplifting and needed to get comp community service hours, and they help them plant trees. You know what I mean? So. We get that all the time. All the time. What is what's your what's your go-to crop? Oh, vegetable. I'm sorry. You know. Uh, I'm having a good time with garlic. We're doing garlic. We got garlic growing out here right now. Uh, garlic we planted in the fall. Uh, that's that was really successful. Uh, we did eggplant last year. It was it did amazing. Uh, cabbage. We did a lot of cabbage last year too. Um, peppers, we had some success with the peppers. Didn't do as many as I like, uh, but this year we're definitely gonna be doing more underneath the high tunnel. Um, blackberries did really well, really well. I mean, it was a lot of, 
blackberries. We got a whole blackberry patch. Mm. And uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the fruit is first year, so you know, next year we this this summer. I hope to have a whole lot of fruit uh, in the mix. So we got uh, yeah, we got everything out here. We got pears, peaches, cherries. Um, Plums, uh, uh, what is this? Oh, see. Um, see you next time. Yeah, no problem, man. I got you. I'm a lot. Uh, I'm a look all right. Stuff right now. Um, yeah, then uh, raspberries that we planted uh, did really well. Uh, but I'm trying to get my hands on as many different types of fruit trees as possible. So I got, I got plums, but then I got like multiple varieties of plums. And then I got pears and I got multiple varieties of pears, you know what I mean? And so that, that, that helps us with like the diversity at the site, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then when it gets to the uh, uh, next, you know, spring, summer, fall, we'll have fruits that are coming off all year round almost. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. there's like fall raspberries, there's like summer pears. So summer each season spring. Yeah. Okay. Each season there's stuff in rotation. Yeah. 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 So I got some plums here that I just uh, bought this morning that uh two uh damson plums, the purple ones. Uh, I got some red plums, purple plums, mm -hmm. yellow plums, you know what I'm saying? All different colors. And that's, for, for this space, the goal is really to like, have this as, kind of like a garden of Eden. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like all types of fruits and food, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, coming off at all times. And you can come and, you know, if you're hungry, boom, it's here. Yeah. That's good living. <laughs> yeah. You can walk around it. <laughs> and, and say Kofa is dope, man. This is like, this space is important because like there's nobody in the city that has you know this much land dedicated to food production you know what i'm saying and dedicated to teaching people how to grow food that's why i be trying to get people to come out so they can see like yeah we got all types of murals and you know outdoor kitchen but more than anything like demonstrate that yo black people can create spaces that are bountiful food wise but then also like doing a service to the environment you know and then bringing people together across culture race you know what i mean identity and shit like that what's your opinion about how food i know not just the scarcity but the inflation and yeah i mean shit it's gonna even get more expensive you know every year like since covid food prices have been going up and so it's only going to get worse you know uh, that, that being said you shouldn't feel like alarmed or afraid or anything like that because you can do this you can grow your own food too you know and it's, it, it doesn't require we spend maybe six hours a week mm. doing this here you know three days a week for like three hours two hours a day and look at what we got this is winter you know what I mean? But watch when it happens. Watch when uh, spring and summer gets here. Oh, it's going to be crazy. You no, know, we ought to do a time lapse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should do a time lapse. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we just put this high tunnel up, greenhouse, mm -hmm. so the greenhouse is about to be, like, producing all year round. And this is not expensive either. Mm -hmm. we got, we're, planting, we're planting carrots. Now. Carrots are growing, like, at this moment in the high tunnel in January. You know, ready for you know getting us ready for uh spring so when spring hits in april ready happens? to go ready yeah, to rock ready to go.